What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today I wanted to talk about eating from a dog bowl because I am a big old Therian doggy, and I like doing stuff that dogs would do. Now, as a coyote, I'm not one to be tamed by humans, but I love the little paw prints on the bowl. It's so cute, and it works for me really well. It's big enough for me. My last video was talking a little bit about New Year's resolutions, and so I wanted to talk a little bit more about eating better, because that's a big one that people really like to do, is eat better food, eat healthier, eat less, do these kinds of things regarding your weight and your fitness. So I wanted to talk about one of the things that I've been trying to do, which is a practice known as grazing. Eating nuts and fruits and small portions throughout the day is far more healthy for you as a human being, which I am unfortunately, than eating these giant meals three times a day. So going to smaller meals means eating less more often. And it leaves your body, your stomach is, you know, consistently digesting stuff, which can burn calories, as well as keeping you fed throughout the day so that when it is time for a meal, you don't gorge yourself too much. So I wanted to talk about what do I put in my dog bowl? Because this usually sits next to me while I'm editing. So first, I have almonds. And I buy these in bulk. As many as I can fit without the bag tearing uh, at a small place called Winco. But you can buy these pretty much at a lot of bulk stores. Um, and it's way more cost effective to buy them in bulk as well. Because almonds are extremely healthy and rich in fiber. As well as, you know, I, <laughs> it's gross to talk about, but the more almonds I eat, the better I use the bathroom. And I think that's an important part of eating better is pooping better. No one likes wiping honey at a shag carpet. So anything to make it easier and quicker was good in my book. The other thing I do is almonds are expensive and not a one-stop shop for all your nutritional needs. So I add Cheerios. These are all I could find. They are called toasted oats. And these toasted oats can also be bought in bulk sizes like that. Um, and I get it, the non-Honey Nut Cheerios. And I can't find plain Cheerio branded Cheerios anymore. So that's all I could find. And I kind of had to go to a specialty store for it. And I kind of understand why. They don't taste good. But mix them up with the almonds and they combine with the buttery flavor of the almonds and the plainness, the crunch of the Cheerios. And it's a really nice snack mix. Now, no snack would be complete without something horrible for you. Like in Trail Mix, they got M&Ms. And like in mine, I have Fruit Loops. Uh, these pair really well with the Cheerios and the almonds. Um, I add so little of the Fruit Loops. Um, like, five to one is, is what I do. And maybe, maybe even less of a ratio because you just need a very, very small amount of Fruit Loops to add the sugar explosion that you get from from Fruit Loops to to the rest of the to the rest of the mix. Mixing those all together, I kind of end up with this kind of uh, kibble, if you will. And of course, putting it in the dog bowl I have, it just makes it more fun to eat. Cause you know, it's all like, ooh, puppy doing puppy things. And it's, it's, it's so fun to do. I, I love, I love having it. Um, the bowl was super cheap. The almonds are pretty expensive, but I use them a lot less cause the Cheerios are dirt cheap and the Fruit Loops are super cheap. And you know, pairing that with certain supplements, if you take like a multivitamin every day, you can really use this to be a healthier person overall. And one of the things that I can't really hold my hand is I try something called intermittent fasting, which I like to do the kind where it's alternate day fasting. So one day I won't eat anything at all. And the next day 
I eat as much as I would like to. And in doing this, I find that my, my brain works better. I feel more focused and I feel more alive in doing this. And find out which works for you. Some people decide for alternate intermittent fasting, they just do only eat in the mornings or only eat at night. And they just do it every day. I find I'm distracting. I like to make it so that the whole day from sleep cycle to sleep cycle ends up being either I eat that day or I don't because it's very easy for me to forget. But I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about eating better, um, what I do to eat better, and how you guys can help yourselves eat better too with grazing and intermittent fasting. So hope you enjoyed the video. Happy New Year. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. I just wanted to say um, thank you guys for watching my content. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the year. Um, I'll probably be doing my end of the year recap video here in a little bit, but I just wanted to say thank you guys. All right, bye.